Thank you for joining Asgard in our latest Veeam video. This is part of our ongoing series going into details of different aspects of the Veeam program. Today's video will be going into the details of long-term retention for Veeam backups. And as always, we are going to be showcasing this on our Veeam backup and replication test server, which is currently running Veeam version 11. So let's get into it. So the first thing you'll do is you'll open up your Veeam backup and replication console and go to the jobs tab on the left. You will then click on a job, right click, and then click edit. And what this does is it essentially will walk you through the process of starting a new job, but everything will be auto filled out for you. The part that we are going to concern ourselves with is here where it says storage. For archiving, what we are going to be looking at for the purposes of this video is this checkbox right here where it says keep certain full backups longer for archival purposes. So give that box a check and it will most likely be warning you GFS retention policy not configured. Then you just go to this configure button to the right and you'll tell it what archiving you want to have. You will have the options for weeklies, monthlies, and yearlies. And then you can customize this however you see fit. If you enable weeklies, you then get the option of which day of the week you want the weekly image to happen. And then how many full weekly backups you wish to hold on to. Same thing goes for your monthly. And if you want the monthly to be on the first day of the month or the last day of the month. And then the same thing for yearlies. And then you can change which month you want your yearly. You can change which month you want your yearly backup to occur. With all of these things set, you just click OK, and then it will just highlight underneath what's going to be happening here. So for this instance, we're going to keep one weekly image, and then once a month, it will save a weekly image, and then once a year, it will save a monthly image as a yearly. It's not exactly accurate. Most configurations will look something more like four weeks, and then six or 12 months, though if you really want the full backup this is probably the best for retentions four weeks plus 12 months one for each month of the year and then five years the number of years you keep your backups around may change so this instance you're going to be saving your backups for five years which can help you reach a target if you have a federal or industry standard that you need to accomplish once you have all of these in place what will happen over time is it will grow your backups. Now, it will take up more space depending on your backup type. We highly recommend utilizing REFS storage. And if you're unfamiliar with that, please keep an eye out for our Veeam video for NTFS versus REFS storage types, which will go into details of that. And that's how you set up your monthly archiving and long-term storage for your Veeam backup job settings now you do need to set this on each individual job or just configure it when you're initially deploying the job if you have any questions about that please just watch our veeam video about how to set up a backup job itself and that wraps up our video on veeam retention and archiving if you found any of this informative or would like to reach out to us in regards to your veeam deployment or how you might be able to get zero trust backups in your environment please feel free to give us a call at 888-941-9941 Visit our website at www.asgardmsp.com or send us an email at info at asgardmsp.com. And as always, thank you for watching.